checking line came through with the offense tonight. Jeff Halpern and Joel Lundquist both scored, and then they did the shutdown job on the Sedins. Joining us, Jeff Halpern from downstairs. And, uh, Jeff, that first one, you guys got off to a great start, and then you were able to play with the lead. So important to get that lead, is it not? Yeah, no, absolutely. I think, uh, uh, you know, our ability to, to roll four lines and, and play solid D, I, you know, we gave, I think we gave up 35 shots tonight, which is a lot for our team. Um, but but to be able to play with the lead and, and and frustrate teams and maybe we got away from our four check a bit in the third and that's why we gave up so many shots but it definitely helps to get that lead. Another big part of your game and and, and others is penalty killing and uh, a big one in the third period especially when they had that freakish one uh, explode on you guys. Talk a little bit about the penalty killing and, and the job you've done through two games now in this series. Yeah, well it was. Uh, I think we've made some good adjustments. On them, they obviously have a, a very good power play unit, and I think no matter no matter what kind of plan you put out there, your your best penalty killer has always got to be your goalie. And I think Marty was was unbelievable tonight, and uh, as he is uh, pretty much every night. Um, and, and the way you know the way he he covers up for us when when we do make mistakes is is what you need. The thing that keeps resonating up here on broadcast row, if you will, is the Stars forecheck and just how dogged you guys have been and how much you've you've hemmed in and been physical hemming in the Canucks in their own zone, which I know is your MO heading into this series, and it seems like it's working beautifully. Yeah. And, we, you know, we get we get a lift, obviously, with a, a guy like Steve Ott coming in and, and guys like Brendan and Mitzi and Haggy and, and uh, Joel Lundquist to, to play the body. Uh, you know, unfortunately, when uh, when it's early on in games, or or for down by a, go- a couple of goals, is when we uh, we seem to force the play and force our forecheck the most. And you know, we we saw a bit in the third period when we sit back. Uh, we are it is easier for us to give up chances, and it's something we 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 you know we need to continue on throughout three periods. Tell us a little bit too, Jeff, about the attitude of this team. And you know, yesterday. Most of the guys got out there on the ice even after that long four overtime game. There was a very good feeling and a good vibe around this team despite the fact that you lost game one. I mean, it's, it's an extremely resilient bunch. Yeah, well, I, I don't think we've, we've quit all year. We've, we've had games being down by a lot in the third and coming back. And we've had games where, you know, a couple against Anaheim where we've really embarrassed ourselves. And, uh, and to be able to come back the next game shows a lot of resilience. And I, I think with the game the other night, I thought, I thought we played great. We played... Uh, well enough to win. Unfortunately, there you know you don't get a lot of moral victories, but you know we we, we knocked three of their guys out of uh, out of that uh, tonight's game from from that game, and we were able to dictate the play and put them a bit on their heels. And uh, th- those are the kind of things over 60 minute game over seven game series are, are important. Jeff, thank you for joining us. Congratulations on the win. We'll see you on the airplane. Thanks, guys.